Hello everyone and welcome to a new IK video. This is Ken from 49 and in this video guys I want to talk about Triumph of Fate since there has been a lot of changes in the event and there has been an event that has been completely removed and some kind of merge happened between the Painfall event and the Triumph of Fate event. Uh, so the special artifacts that belongs to Hannibal Parker and uh, you know, the four famous immortals that came together, Hannibal Parker, uh, Ramses, Leonidas, and Richard. All these artifacts are now being acquired from Triumphio Fate event. They used to be acquired from the uh, Painfall event that has been removed. And right now you can acquire these artifacts from Triumphio Fate. However, there is a, a, a slight trick that you need to uh, take care of because... If you're looking for the artifacts, you might waste a lot of gems without getting any kind of artifacts. You need to check this here. This is all the rewards. This is all the possible rewards that you can get from the event that you have in front of you right now. And this rewards could change once you click the reset button here. Uh, you need to look at this chest here. As you can see, this is a normal artifact chest. It's called Epic Schematic Fragment Chest. If you click here you can see that all the artifacts that you can get from this chest are just the normal artifacts and now once you click reset here you can check again and you can see that the chest has been changed instead of three chests you can get only two right now and its name now is unique artifacts schematic fragment selection chest and if you select it you can see that you can get following artifacts which is this is for Ramses, this is for Leonidas and this is for Hannibal and this one here is for Richard uh, this one is for well, I'm not quite sure but it's the special artifacts that we're looking for so right now the value of the artifacts itself has been changed, I haven't tried to go for the artifacts in the previous event yet however I've been told from a lot of people who play in my server and other servers that it costs around from starting 18 to up to 35 per one artifact per a complete artifact so I'm not quite sure how this is gonna cost however it's still uh, you know it's still doable I'm, I'm not sure how it's gonna cost but the the good thing is that if you're looking for one of these immortals here uh, which is the immortals that you can acquire from King of the Hell. Either you're looking to acquire them, unlock them, just getting your 60 shards. Or you're looking to complete the immortals up to 7 stars. And you cannot uh, wait or you, you cannot wait to gather enough uh, mysterious, mysterious coins from, this, from the daily shop here. Uh, you can still unlock the immortals or you can still max the immortals from this event here which is triumph of fate so you can get two rewards at the same time from the same event which means that you can get either the immortal that you're looking for which in my case here i'm still looking for cyrus i haven't even unlocked cyrus yet but i have a lot of a lot of shards for him i think i have over 500 shards i have 556 shards right now and i haven't even unlocked the immortal which means that i haven't purchased any fragments from the daily shop here obviously because i haven't unlocked him so he's not even gonna appear in this so all the fragments that i have for cyrus i either got it from triumph of fate or the king of the hell event i remember i ranked first in the king of the hell uh during cyrus just once and there was another time when i ranked second there there were a lot a couple times when i ranked in the top uh 20 so I've got over 400 cards or 400 artifact uh, fragments for Cyrus from King of the Hell event and the rest of the fragments that I have I got it completely from the free tries and just the free tries from Triumph of Fate. So what, what I do is just consume the free attempts that I have here. You can see that I've got one Cyrus. Uh, you can get up to 12 Cyrus per round. And what I do is simply I wait for the next day until I get another a couple of free tries here and then I make sure that the free tries are being applied here then I go for another 
a couple of fries if i get it it's what i'm looking for if i don't get it i wait for the third day if i don't get it for the third day that is when i begin to uh spend some gems to get it usually i spend maximum 1200 gems to acquire the fragments that i'm looking for and this is how i'm basically collecting cyrus for free so i'm not in a rush to collect cyrus i'm not actually I, I don't actually need him right now but i might need him in the future in my fire march so i'm just going for the slow game here by collecting him through triumphy same goes for the artifacts if you're looking to uh, claim an artifact here for free you can do what i'm doing right now if you're in a hurry and you have enough gems you can spend some some gems to get the artifacts that you're looking for uh, along with this there are a lot of cool rewards as well you can get either speed ups or the sun crystals which is so important right now to develop artifacts up to silver also you can you can get some uh, free dragon crystals and you know how important these are because if you're if i'm not focusing the fire i hardly get any fire crystals because all i'm hunting right now is my earth uh, dragon i'm only hunting for my earth dragon right now uh, so this is what i wanted to talk about regarding the triumphant fate and the adjustments that happened to the event just make sure to check this list here for the rewards before you begin uh, either way even if you're looking for the immortal just make sure that you're getting the artifact as well because you're, you're simply getting it for free so this will be all for this video guys uh, thank you so much for watching don't forget to subscribe to the channel and have a wonderful day